Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about rebuilding the check valves in the model 350 and 375 in sizes 2.5 through 12 inch. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is I have customers call me and they'll say, John, I've got to the point where my backflow preventer needs a rebuild, but I don't want to put a bunch of money and time into check assemblies that are not going to work if I put them back in. So I thought, let's just go ahead and identify a couple of areas in the check valve that you'd want to look at to make sure that it is going to be a successful rebuild. What I have here is, this is a, a check from a 4-inch model 350. It happens to be the number one check. But it would be consistent with all the checks, whether it's an RP or a double check, both number one and the number two. What I'm going to do first is I want to take the back of the poppet off, and I've loosened these bolts in order to do so. Once I get the bolts loose and remove the poppet back, this exposes the rubber seal ring. Now we can get down to the areas that I'd like you to inspect to make sure that this is going to work if we put a rebuild kit into it. This area here is what we call the seat profile. That's the actual sharp area of the seat that bites into the rubber seal ring to facilitate a seal, thus making the check prevent against backflow. What I'd like for you to do before you start reassembling is take your fingernail and go all the way around that seat profile and use your fingernail to see if you feel any little divots or dings in that seat profile. If you do, that's going to be a path of leakage. So when you get the check put back together, slowly the water is going to leak across the rubber through that little ding or divot, and that's going to cause the check valve to fail. You won't pass your backflow test. So in the event that you feel any little light dings or divots, there's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of fine sandpaper or emery cloth and get in there and try to sharpen that little spot up. In other words, you're just, you're just trying to knock that little ding off so it'll be a nice, smooth, sharp surface to bite into the rubber. Now, in the event that there's a big chip taken out of that seat profile, you're going to have to replace this seat. This is referred to in our nomenclature as a Dash 180. So you would not have to buy the whole poppet assembly. You can buy the, the Dash 180, which is the seat assembly, and then use the original poppet back in your new rubber. So again, just to reiterate, feel that seat profile with your fingernail, and if you feel any dings or divots, try to take some fine emery paper and just sharpen that up a little bit. You can get it between your index finger and thumb and try to smooth that out and make it sharp. Again, if it's dinged really deep or it's knocked a chunk of the plastic out, this will have to be replaced. Also, on the other side, this is where our spring loading occurs. There's two torsion springs buried inside this check assembly connected to these moment arms. If you notice that one of these moment arms is really loose, you could grab a hold of it with your fingers and move it around, that would indicate that you have a broken spring inside. And that can certainly happen periodically if the valve is uh, experiencing excessive flow. So for example, this 4-inch valve, it's rated to 500 GPM. We start flowing that thing well in excess of that, maybe up at 1,000. This check, when it opens up, gets to dancing around and it can break those springs. So again, if you can feel that moment arm lifting very easily, that would indicate a broken spring and you should replace this seat assembly also. Other than that, there's really nothing else that can go wrong on there. All you're doing when you rebuild it is replacing the rubber seal ring, as I indicated, and you're also going to replace this diametrical O-ring on the outside. And if the seat's sharp, have no broken pieces, and we've got a good spring inside, your rebuild will absolutely be successful on this check. Now, if you get to going on this and you're looking at it and something's puzzling to you, do not hesitate to call us at Zern Industries, and we'll be happy to walk you through it, through, through the rebuilding process, give you advice and tips, anything that you may need to be successful in your rebuilding of that product.